Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we've got another iPhone 7 Plus case to take a look at. This is from Belkin. This one's called the Sheer Force Pro case. It came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program and uh, kind of a ridiculous bit of packaging for something so simple, but uh, there you go. You've got the uh, booklet opening uh, design on this thing. So let's take this case out here and see what we got and uh, we'll see how well it fits my phone and maybe how much protection it might provide. So let's take this out here and see what we got. So this is the case here. It doesn't feel like much actually, just kind of like a, a piece of hard silicone maybe. Um, so there you go. It's got some uh, little micro beads or something in there, if you can hear that. So it's got a little texture inside, uh, but not outside, which is funny because you think you might want the texture outside to make the phone or the case a little less slippery. So um, down here, we can see that the entire uh, bottom portion is exposed. I'm not sure how long this case is going to last actually. This feels like you could probably pull it off very easily. So this might not be a case that uh, you use temporarily. Uh, you might want to leave it on your phone all the time because you might, be able, might stretch that portion out or something over time here. But let's put this, uh, rest of this case together here. A little hard to get it over the corner there. Let me try this again. Get it, get it on there. There we go. Not very easy to put on either. Now it's on. It feels fine. It doesn't really add that much thickness to the phone at all, which is good. I've got my assistant here, my seven-month-old Ellie. You can see her little hand um, as we go through this. So a couple things on this. Um, the power button isn't bad. I can feel it. Um, it does click very nicely. Sometimes these cases really um, kill your buttons. This one doesn't seem to do that. The volume rockers feel pretty decent too. Um, the uh, rocker switch here for the ringer is hard to get at. So you really have to kind of get your fingernail in there to get that switch uh, switched properly because it is kind of recessed in there. But I think for those of you that have a lot of accessories that um, go beyond perhaps just the, uh, the width of the port here for the lightning connector, this does leave the bottom portion of the phone open. Again, though, with that issue with this uh, portion of the case there. So I think this thing will probably hold up. It doesn't really add all that much protection. You do get a decent little lip here so that when you're uh, on a desk, um, as my little one blows raspberries, uh, you don't get the uh, glass down on the desk itself, but not as much as other cases I've seen. So uh, not bad. It feels kind of cheap, but it feels like it'll provide some basic protection. But I think there are probably better cases out there. I just did a review of the uh, commuter here from Otterbox that I did prefer to this one. But if you want something a little slimmer, uh, this will certainly at least protect the edges of your phone that I found to be the uh, most uh, fragile in the, in the mix here. And it should uh, give you some decent protection there. Let's see how hard it is to take it off now that we've got the uh, phone out of there. Not too bad to take it out, but again, I'm not sure how long it's going to hold up, especially down over here. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.